Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me. Welcome to your weekly reading for the week of September 21st, 2015. I already went ahead and shuffled your cards and your runes and I laid your spread. I kind of like shuffling cards better on camera because I feel like it's legit, you know, you know that they're really shuffled, but in the sake of saving times and trying to make shorter videos, um, I thought that I would try this on for size and so you're just going to have to trust me, okay Capricorn? So, your week looks interesting. Um, the first card that we have for you is the High Priestess card reversed. And this is saying that Capricorn, you're not listening to your inner intuition. You're not listening to your angels, your spirit guides, the good Lord above, the divine source. Any messages coming through to you from deceased loved ones or friends. Um, definitely, you just it's like being out of touch. Your head is in the sand. You don't want to think. You don't want to feel. You don't want to know. You just don't want to deal with something. So this is a warning card that's saying, Capricorn, you need to get in touch with your inner being, your inner light, your inner your inner higher self, your soul. Um, you know, and the divine source. The divine source is trying to bring messages through to you and you, you need to start paying attention to those because typically when this comes up, when we are out of touch and, you know, we, we just are refusing to see something, then at some point, the universe will force us to see it if we haven't chosen to initiate that process ourselves. And whenever the universe forces change upon us, it's always more painful than when we choose to do it ourselves. So this is saying get in touch with uh, yourself again, your inner guidance, your intuition, you know, your spirit guides, your angels, etc. Just like take your head out of the sand. This is, you know, your head's in the sand. You're denying something. You don't want to deal with it. This is saying, you know, just gosh, the blinders got to come off, okay? You got to deal with whatever it is that you are denying or refusing to see. The next card we have for you is the Five of Cups Upright. This is a, like a card of mourning, like regret and self blame. There's definite sadness and shame, depression, dark cloud over your head. I mean, look at the guy in the card, right? There's five of cups. Three of them are spilled. There's two that are still upright. So something is salvageable to some degree, but he has his back turned to that, obviously cloaked and with his head down and just covering himself up. I mean, he's he is sad. There's definitely something that, that he's regretting here. So Capricorn, it's either you or someone in your life is sad shameful, guilty, or regretting a circumstance or situation or an outcome of something. And with these two cups here that are still upright, there's something either more to the situation. Either this means that there is something that's salvageable, that whatever happened is definitely reconcilable, or this just means that there's a tale to this situation. That it's not necessarily something that's salvageable, but there's a tale to it. So it's going to linger for a little while, um, and that could be that. Now, every Capricorn is different. So it's either you or someone in your life. And um, there's definite sadness here. I always get depression, depression and dark cloud with that card. Um, and this is, it's interesting that it's right next to the High Priestess reverse where your head is in the sand and you're not in touch with your intuition. So there's something here that you need to know. Either you or someone in this situation or somebody that you know is dragging you into the situation and there's something that you're not seeing about it. Or you're the one that is sad, shameful, regretting, mourning, mourning a loss, um, grieving something. And you're so distraught over it that you're not seeing the bigger picture or you're not seeing the truth that um, that is wrapped up in this and that like once you have a sense of clarity and you see things for what they really are it might lessen some of this burden for you okay so this is interesting capricorn because the next card we have for you is the knight of cups upright and this is romance or artistic talent so this card definitely means you know there's two meanings so romance you meet somebody um you're in in a romance you're in a relationship or a marriage or a long-term romance of some kind this can also be just a lustful sexual relationship or an affair of some kind um so it's interesting that this card in in terms of romance or partnership is right next to the five of cups where you are mourning, grieving the loss of 
being feeling shameful or guilty over something and there's something about it that you're not seeing. So an example of this Capricorn could be somebody who's involved in an affair with somebody who's married. And if you're the one that's married, and I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying as an example, let's say you're the one that's married, you're having the affair and cheating on your spouse and you feel very regretful over that. You're like, you feel full of shame and guilt and regretting it. And you just feel awful um, because you slipped up and it was something that happened. It wasn't something that, you know, you were planned. You weren't trying to be malicious. You weren't trying to hurt your spouse. But the reason that it happened is because there's something going on in your marriage that you are refusing to acknowledge, okay? Now, on the flip side, let's say you're a Capricorn who is having an affair with somebody who is married and... You are feeling sad over the situation because this affair is kind of, it was great in the beginning, but now it's getting rocky because the person that you're with is like, oh, now they're saying, oh, I'm not going to leave my spouse and our relationship is over and you're all upset over it, sad, depressed, etc. But the writing was on the wall the whole time because that person was married nine times out of ten, a lot of times. Many times, the person who is married who's having the affair, they never leave their spouse for whatever reason. There's a multitude of reasons. Now, I'm not saying that it's not possible because I do know people who have had an affair and did leave their spouse for that person. But there was something going on in that situation where the writing was on the wall and intuitively you already knew it, but you wanted to believe the fantasy. And so now the fantasy got broken and you're sad over that. Again, this is just one example. This could be in anything. This could be in business partnership, career, something with friends, something with family, some kind of a relationship dynamic. It does not have to be sex, lust, affair, romance, or marriage. It does not have to be that. But I just use that as a very cut and dry example because um, it's very easy to understand and you know it drives it home. So you can apply this energy you know, somewhere in your life pertaining to whatever your situation is but in terms of romance capricorn you could be meeting somebody new okay for those of you who are not involved with somebody right now you could be meeting somebody new now this is a warning to keep your wits about you you could be meeting somebody that just sweeps you off your feet and it's like too good to be true and you're just in la la land you know go ahead and enjoy la la land but keep your wits about you don't put your head in the sand don't go in denial you know, don't don't believe the writing that's on the wall because this person, whoever it is, they will show you who they are. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's just, you know, there's things about them. Nobody's perfect. Um, so don't have unrealistic expectations that cause you to get sad over this situation, okay? So, so see that as a warning for the Capricorns out there who have not met somebody yet. There could be somebody coming in for you that's just saying, you know, keep your wits about you in terms of that new relationship. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work that it's not not going to work out. Or no, what am I trying to say? It doesn't mean that it's not going to work out. It doesn't mean that whoever comes in is not the perfect match for you. It just means heated as a warning that you know, just don't don't um go go too far off into la la land if you get what I'm saying. Like enjoy the whimsical lovey-dovey moments and and the honeymoon phase. Um, but but um, be smart about it. So this definitely speaks to an important event of some kind related to relationships and emotional concerns of some kind, whether it's romance or not. So Capricorns, know this. If this hasn't already happened in your life, there is an event coming up. The other thing about this card is that somebody may offer you an opportunity that's too hard to resist. And if it sounds too good to be true, a lot of times it is. So just keep your wits about you. Keep a strong head on your shoulders. Read the fine print. Dot your I's. Cross your T's. And, you know, just try not to um, get lost in the fanatical nature of whatever this opportunity is. Because they could be like... You know, somebody coming along promising you stardom and, and fame and money and everything, but it might be too good to be true because it's just like out of the blue and you're not even on that path, for example. So this could be a result of somebody who's trying to take you for a ride or etc. So rose-colored glasses in those types of situations as well. This can also be an invitation to a party or a new experience. 
that brings you new opportunities, whether it's new opportunities in relationships or new opportunities in career or just personal life in general. So just definitely be in touch with how you feel, what you think, how you feel, what you want. And make sure that the situation matches and reflects, you know, those inner feelings of yours. If it doesn't mirror that back to you, then that's a cause for concern. Then that means that there is, you know, something on the surface that is a little too shiny, if you get my drift. But if it mirrors back to you everything that you want, then, you know, just be honest and true to yourself and follow through with caution. And, you know, you should be all right as long as you are using your head about it. Okay, so the next card we have for you, Capricorn, is the Chariot card reversed. This is like out of control, feeling overwhelmed, or reckless behavior. This can also mean slow movement, movement forward. So you or somebody you know is out of control. They are reckless or they're feeling overwhelmed. Now, whatever the situation is, this could be this newfound opportunity that comes in for you that's a little bit too overwhelming. It's like over the top. So you feel overwhelmed, and as a result of that, it feels out of control. A, a relationship that comes in, a romantic partner, they might be too good to be true. It might be too much too fast. Sometimes relationships, they move way too fast, and that leaves you feeling out of control, reckless, and just uncomfortable, and that might cause you to back away. This can also be slow movement forward, slow progress forward. You know, the chariot upright. I mean, the chariot is... Moving forward, you know, all pieces and parts are working. He's got the sphinxes sitting there and everything is going great. In reverse, this can just mean like some delays. Slow progress, you know, slow to start, slow to build momentum. Like a slow and steady wins a race, the rabbit and the hare kind of thing. Um, so definitely, you know, watch out for that. And watch out for, um, you know, the feeling of out of control behavior and also it could be somebody in your life who is out of control and you are suffering the consequences of that so do what you need to do to take care of yourself and handle that situation I mean if if somebody's out of out of control in your life and it's gonna leave you not in a good place or position um, then you have to take the steps necessary to protect yourself in that regard so the next card we have for you, Capricorn, is the Page of Pentacles Reverse. And this is like the Rebel Without a Cause type of card. This can be an unexpected expense or bad news coming in of some kind. It doesn't have to be related to money, but it could be bad news or upsetting news, disruptive news. This is definitely a card of red tape. So people, places, circumstances, situations, red tape, red tape. you got to work through the red tape to resolve something, work through the red tape to reach a goal, work through the red tape of a problem or the bad news that comes up in your life. So you could be experiencing difficulties of some kind that result of not basically reading the fine print carefully. So like literally and figuratively and metaphorically, you know, um, just Definitely, like, again, with all of this, rose-colored glasses, be careful of opportunities that are too good to be true, um, just people promising you the sun, the moon, and the stars, romantic partnership that might take you for a ride, etc., any contracts you get involved in, business dealings, partnerships moving forward, um, even property, you know, signing something, gaining something property-wise that might be premature, read the fine print in the contract ask all the questions that you need to ask uncover every possible truth that you need to to make a proper decision for yourself if there are delays as a result of this just go with the flow because if you try to push against them to force a solution or force an outcome quickly it will just be resistance it will be like pushing back against you and it'll just cause you a headache and as a result of all of this, this could be unfavorable financial news. So definitely keep your wits about you and be careful what you get involved in so that you don't lose any money moving forward. So whatever's going on over here, Capricorn, there is some news that's coming to you or that could come to you as a result of making an improper decision because you didn't have either all the information, all the facts, all the documents, or because somebody either lied to you or kind of like, you know, manipulated their way with you. 
So something's going to be, you know, coming as a result of that. If the news hasn't hit you yet, take this as a warning along with these other cards, okay? To try to, you know, head it off before it even happens. Try to head this off. If this hasn't happened for any of you yet, head this off before it even comes to pass. You ladies out there, if you meet a Prince Charming who sweeps you off your feet and he is just rico suave, too good to be true, okay, don't let him take you for a ride. Because if he takes you for a ride, Capricorn ladies, you will be in this place. And actually, you'll end up here with it reversed. This is so deep in the pit. The negative uh, definition of this reverse, you're so deep in an emotional pit that you don't feel like you're ever going to get out. And this Rico Suave guy is the type that will do that to you. So don't let him take you for a ride, ladies. Okay? Same with you men. Oh, you men, I just got this message. If you men out there meet a lady who is, you know, the prima donna whatever, the Angelina Jolies of, you know, the dark side of the world who are just so seductive and they really get under your skin, be careful. She might take you for a ride. And in coming with that bad news, she takes all your money, honey. You know what I'm saying? She steals something from you. Manipulative women, okay? So, again, it goes both ways. Either sex, men or women, it doesn't matter. You know, you know the ways of, of them. You know the possible scenarios and outcomes. So, just... Definitely be careful. Don't let anybody on either sex, on either side of the road, the fence, or the railroad tracks take you for a ride. Okay, Capricorn, the next card we have for you is the Three of Wands Reverse. This is attainment slipping away or the lack of cooperation. How frustrating. So you could be close to a goal or a situation that is just out of your reach. Based on these cards, there could be an opportunity here that comes in for you that is so wonderful and you, you take it. And so you're on this new path and you feel like you're so close to it, you could just reach out and grab it. And then all of a sudden something happens that rips it away from you. And what rips it away from you is this bad news that comes in. And the bad news is coming in as a result of these other three cards, the choices that you made, the, the opportunities that were dealt to you, the Rico Suaves or the Angelina Jolies in your life that seduced you. And you didn't use your wits or have your intuition about you to make the proper decision. Because you didn't want to believe that this was really going on. You wanted the fantasy. So as a result of that, the bad news comes and the attainment slips away. Um, definitely. This can also lead to, you know, you or somebody in your life who's overconfident, egotistical, arrogant. Or somebody with unrealistic plans. Unreal, unrealistic plans, unrealistic, you know, just, ro again, rose-colored glasses, pipe dreams. Um, wasted efforts, pipe dreams. Yeah, definitely. This is coming about as a result of this situation. Because the writing was on the wall, Capricorn, but you just, you know, for whatever reason, you didn't see it or you didn't want to believe it. Or somebody pulled the wool over your eyes and took you for a ride. And so now attainment slips away, other things slip away, something's taken from you as a result of that because of this bad news. The interesting thing is, Capricorn, the last card we have for you is the Six of Wands Upright, and this is the likelihood of success. So this is the last card in your spread while all of these cards are kind of upsetting. You know, there's a likelihood of success here, like a triumph or an accomplishment, you know, a, a victory of some kind. Now, you could be receiving, you know, recognition for your hard work or a promotion at work or career, stepping up. It's like stepping up to the next level um, in life or society. Um, you could be receiving, you know... A, like if you're a student, you know, the loans come through, the academic scholarships come through. If you're a business owner, the loan comes through, the capital comes through, the investors come through with money for you to get something off the ground. Some kind of, you know, career. Or if this is a position that you just got um, a uh, promotion and now you have a new position in the company, th this is, you know, like everything is lining up in your favor for it to work out. You know, the boss is being very cooperative. They're giving you all the perks that you want, the salary that you want, the days of vacation and sick days and all this. You have like a new office, etc. Like things are just working out for you. So it's like, you know, a victor, you know. A person who is a victor, having a victory, somebody who receives a claim. 
something for you, Capricorn, works out in your life. I mean, this is the interesting thing, especially after these cards. Like, you know, for some reason, I'm feeling a little bit of a disconnect here. I don't know how, okay, but Capricorn, somehow, some way, whatever the situation is, it's going to turn itself around and flip itself over in your favor. Maybe Capricorn, whoever this person is that takes you for a ride, whether it's romantic business or some kind of opportunity, or a friend or an acquaintance who just takes you for a ride and is like fraudulent activity or just steals something from you, whatever this is, um, you know, it, it they get caught, so to speak, and the truth comes out, and you have the victory and the triumph because everybody around you sees who this person is and what they're really all about. There is some sense of justice and judgment that comes. A judgment's handed down, justice is served. You you gain something as a result of this, whether it is, you know, a financial reward or monetary reward or something at work where you move on up, some kind of an acclaim. You know, people are like seeing seeing you for what you what you really are. Your reputation precedes you here. Something here was tarnishing your reputation, tarnishing your good name, like kind of dragging you through the mud or getting you in a situation where people were talking and starting to look down on you as a result of whoever this person was in your life. But because they get found out or some bullshit gets, you know, revealed, truths come to the surface, etc., etc., you know, you're, you're left in good standing as a result of that. So the first rune we have for you, Capricorn, is Rito, and this is journey, communication, union, and reunion type of rune, okay? So you're on a new journey. There's communication or miscommunication. So it's a positive outcome, though. So through here, there was definitely miscommunication going on in whatever this situation was. Um, and, and things were hidden, okay? But then they came to light, and the communication came full circle because people learned the truth. You were the victor, and so that good communication has now set you free. This can also be a union. Um, let's say some of you did meet somebody new, okay? A union of two people, a new relationship. But this can also be a reunion with somebody from your past, or a rekindling of a relationship that's been damaged. Any kind of relationship. Whether it's romance, friend, family, career, business, whatever. You know, because the communication has improved. So now you guys are understanding each other. There's like a newfound acceptance between each other. Like you're, you're on the same page. Your heads are in the same space. And you've kind of rekindled your respect for each other. This is definitely talking about self-healing self-healing and self-change okay so whatever was going on here down here that left you in a funk left you hurt wounded etc there's going to be self-healing as a result of the outcome of this situation with the victor card you're going to be able to lick your wounds you're going to heal faster also somebody can be coming into your life or friends can be surrounding you at this time giving you encouragement um, you know, as a result of your newfound victory. And then the last rune we have for you, Capricorn, is the Anzus rune. And this is the messenger rune, signals. So, you know, this is all about receiving messages, messages, signals, gifts, messages on your path, divine timing, divine dreams, synchronicities, chance meetings, Physical things on your path that are sending you messages, whether it's, you know, butterflies, rainbows, a sign that you see on the freeway, a sign you see walking into a building that like kind of pings you at the soul level, um, messages coming from your angels and your spirit guides, the good Lord above. So this is saying to open yourself up, open your mind, open your heart, open your channel to receiving the messages from the divine source. Your angels, your spirit guides, deceased loved ones, etc. Okay, the good Lord above. Because they want to send you messages pertaining to this situation here that's going to help you along your path of self-healing and um, self-development. Okay, healing those wounds, licking your wounds, moving on. And your angels and spirit guides and the, the, the divine source that will be sending you messages, these messages will be a sense of clarity. Um, everything is about timing. So some messages we won't get until the time is right. 
and we have to kind of suffer through and deal through and grow and mature through whatever this pain and anguish is until the timing is right. Then they send us the message and then that gives us the clarity so that we can look back on this situation and review it and see what the lesson was we were meant to learn. So the messages coming through, not only a sense of clarity, but also personal revelations, aha moments, as well as messages to help you moving forward and making decisions on a new path moving forward. Okay, Capricorn, so that was your reading for this week. Please let me know how these cards and runes um, are manifesting in your life. I love to hear everybody's stories. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. You can email me at lifelovetarot at gmail.com. And um, thank you so much uh, for being here. We'll see you next week. Namaste, my friends.